Hi, right now we're going to go through part B of this entire 2017 paper. Are you ready? Let's begin. Now, next part coming up is the second part, part B. Over here, say, add about 1 cm depth of solution X into a clean test tube. And now, to this test tube, add about 1 cm depth of sulfuric acid and shake the mixture. Now, here, they say add X to it. So, I'm going to have a new test tube over here. 1 cm X. Okay, write down X. Oopsie. Okay, and then another 1 cm of X. Um, of sulfuric acid so this is h2so4 sorry it's not x by h2so4 this is b part one okay now i have labeled it let me put this back over here but as i say if they say they add sulfuric acid adding of acid chance of uh, testing for carbon dioxide is high which means that there is existence of carbonate over here so i'm going to leave it over here but remember let me prepare my lime water very good if you're thinking i know lime water yes lime water okay so calcium hydroxide now i like the new uh uh this new method that i'm teaching all of you to prepare parts by part and then execute parts by parts okay i'm really thinking that this is the way to do all the latest practical and i hope that as you watch you're getting a uh, you're benefiting it as well okay so put the long tube inside put this back over here so this part here b1 i have already prepared so this is for x now next portion over here they say that at about one cm depth of solution y into the boiling tube this time is boiling tube okay so let's take a boiling tube uh over here boiling tube is one cm This is why. Okay, now they add aqueous sodium hydroxide. Slowly sh uh, with shaking until no further change is seen. This is obviously a test for cation. Okay, and then they add another further 2 cm depth of aqueous sodium hydroxide. And then this time round that you must heat it and almost boil it to allow and then allow the content to settle it down. All right, for this portion here, you have to heat sodium hydroxide. Now, um, oh, this is the possibility of ammonium present. Okay, so later on, I'm going to prepare my litmus paper as well, but I'm not too sure. So everything I would just prepare, be a little bit more kiasu. But 2 cm depth of sodium hydroxide. So add a little bit and then another 2 cm depth. So basically, you have to add all the way to 2. Lah. Okay, so I just write here 2. Lah. All right, so this is NaOH, this is B part 2, okay, done, and this is Y, so I'm going to put this Y back, okay, next part, next portion over here, they say at about 1 cm depth of solution Y, solution Y, this is Y, at aqueous ammonia, okay? So aqueous ammonia is also a test of cation. It's a further confirmation of who is it. So I'm going to write down aqueous ammonia, okay? Now they say add a little bit slowly, so I don't need to measure it. I just need to keep adding it later. B part three, okay? Let me see the part three properly and then place it back over here nicely. Now, over this portion here, for this part, they say, while you are doing, waiting for the content at this part to settle, we move on to three, which is this one which I prepared. And then let's see what C have with me. Oh, C is completely for the residue Z, which is this part. Wow, very nice dirty green precipitate forming uh, solid. Now, I mean, you notice that I say this is solid and this is not precipitate, but never mind. I will explain this further later. So at this part, I will prepare it later. So let's do B part one first, execute this part. So are we ready? Let's begin. So over here is my X. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside because no more, no need to use that already. So now it's X turn and I need sulfuric acid. Let me take sulfuric acid out first. Okay, so over here. Now water is ready. So are we ready? Okay, let's, whoa, cover up first okay and then let's see shake the mixture shake the mixture shake the mixture shake the mixture i see effervescent forming okay uh 
from my side, I can see slight precipitate forming inside this part here. But I'm not too sure how much my video cam can, uh, my GoPro can actually uh, capture it but I can see that uh, it's slowly turning. But because I have effervescent, I'm quite sure that this is actually, there's a presence of carbonate. So I'm going to write down solution X is a clear solution, okay? Um, when H2SO4 is added or upon adding H2SO4, effervescent EFF, E-R-V-E-S-C-E-N-C-E, -E -E -E. effervescent is produced. Gas evolved gives a white PPT in the lime water. Okay, so okay, from my side, I can see lime uh, get uh, it is actually very uh, i can see white precipitate but i'm not too sure how much my gopro can capture it okay but i'm going to put this down and then let's move on to the second part okay so i'm quite sure that x inside contain carbonate now all right let's move on to the next part now next part over here is my solution y okay so i'm going to uh, go to my solution y now but i remember uh which is my boiling tube Okay, so this is my boiling tube. So my Y, Y is over here, sodium hydroxide. Let me prepare, put back my sulfuric acid. Now, always have a good habit, put things back when you don't need them. Okay, and I will take out my sodium hydroxide. So I am ready, let's begin. Whoa, it's a dirty green precipitate. Dirty green precipitate forming. Okay, so I'm going to write down upon solution Y is a greenish yellow solution upon adding NaOH, comma, okay, a dirty green. PPT was observed. Okay, now uh, I add all the way to 2 cm cube already, and then I need to start boiling. Like I said, the chance of boiling over here with aqueous ammonia, uh, sorry, with sodium hydroxide, if you can see here, the chance of having an ammonium produced with ammonia gas produced is very high. So I want to be a little bit young, so I'm not too sure, okay? But I'm quite sure that this is Fe2 plus already because it's green. So I'm going to write down Fe2 plus, okay? And then because it's boil, uh, I'm supposed to boil it, I'm going to be a little bit more kiasu. I'm going to prepare my litmus paper. So I'm going to prepare my red litmus paper, dab a little bit of um, distilled water. Prep it at the side here, okay, just in case later it will, might turn color, I'm not too sure. But let me prepare my to heat, okay. Now they say uh, over here, let me flip this back first. That's the problem with this thing, but I'm sure all of you can catch what I'm saying. Okay, now I'm supposed to heat, gently heat until almost boiling. Okay, ready? Let's begin. Remember, I told you before, while we are heating, okay, do not do both at the same time because it's going to be very scary for all of us. But you can feel the vibration of the test tube vibrating, okay. But I'm seeing slowly changing color from a dirty green. I saw a little bit of yellowish and it get a little bit of yellow and red coming out of it. There's some gas. Let me see if there's ammonium present. I have to be careful, okay, because I added sodium hydroxide just now, okay? So if I'm not careful and I touch the side of the test tube, okay, I might mistaken and think that that is uh, ammonia gas, all right? Okay, almost boiling. There is no change in my litmus paper. 
okay the fumes doesn't change it so um, there's no ammonia I'm going to throw that Limus paper away okay seeing this a closer taking a closer look okay I can see that my that is this uh, brownish uh, 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 very brownish uh, precipitate forming okay some people will write black please do not do that okay but I have a feeling that this is actually an oxidation part because this is Fe2 plus if I'm heating it I'm actually doing an oxidation so I'm going to say that it turned a little bit brown all right so what I'm going to write here is this part okay um, here because they add a further aqueous sodium hydroxide okay Green PPT turns darker, okay, upon heating, green PPT over here, you can see that it turns a little bit brownish, especially on the top part, okay. Become brown okay and then allow the, its content to settle while you're waiting for the content to settle continue with b part three okay and c so over here okay my solution y now let me put back my sodium hydroxide okay turn this back off take out aqueous ammonia okay and this is this portion here i need my y okay so Pour a little bit of Y inside. Okay, and now is aqueous ammonia ready. Let's begin. Okay, still dirty green precipitate. You can see over here. We're slowly with changing until no further change is seen. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna write down. Let me put this back. Okay, so uh solution Y is a greenish yellow solution upon adding aqueous ammonia let me write better you can also write this in exam okay a dirty green ppt was formed when they say add until no further change means that they are adding excess so you must write in excess of and H four O H comma the dirty green PPT do not dissolve in excess. All right, I finished this part. Moving on to the next portion over here, which is the part Z. So I finished this already. Yay! We have finished part B of this entire paper, so we are moving on to part C. So get ready and then let's watch the next video.